Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. What we're gonna be getting into today is tackling some spots in my home that really give me, I guess you could say some anxiety or give me, you know, just make me overwhelmed just to think about tackling them. I really would like to get them done and over with before Connor starts school. But what I want to do is tackle my little laundry room situation. The washing machine and dryer always get covered in lint and dirt and just, you know, pick up in there and tackle some things that really will only take a couple minutes. But for some reason, I just despise doing them. I have his sheets and everything in the washing machine now, but I want to tackle that. I want to tackle our little pantry snack thing going on. I have done that in one of my first videos, that was one of my first videos I posted on YouTube, was organizing that space, and I don't think it's been organized. Well, it has, but it has not been kept up with. I still have the pink bins in there. They have been serving us pretty well. I, the functionality could probably be better, but that's not really what I'm worried about today. I wanna go through the expired snacks, kind of organize it better that way when school starts, we can grab snacks, grab breakfast out of there if we need to, things like that. Um, with me going back to work, and then of course, Miguel at work and Connor at school, the mornings are kind of hectic for us, so we just want to get things done and get things, have things as smooth as possible. So we're gonna be tackling some things in my home that I've put off and that need to get done. So I plan on hitting the refrigerator, the pantry, um, my laundry room. So if you enjoy any of that type of content, I really hope you stick around. Um, and you know, to everyone who has supported me and left kind comments on this journey on YouTube, I am so thankful and appreciative. I love responding to your comments and answering questions and connecting with you guys in the comments. So definitely leave me some comments down below. They definitely bring joy to my day and let me know that you guys enjoy me posting. But yeah, let's get right into it. So we are going to be starting out in the laundry room. I'm gonna clear this tray of everything that is on top of it. This tray, it was extremely dirty and covered in lint and hair ties and everything I find in the laundry. I just throw in there basically. This tray is old, I've had it a very long time. It was one of those outdoor trays. It was like a blue see-through plastic type of material and I had spray painted it white and covered the handles in rope. Um, obviously it didn't hold up that well, but it's fine. I just cleaned it out, made sure there was no more lint or anything inside of it. And then I moved on to this dryer, which was covered in lint. And I should have taken out the lint trap in the beginning, but as you'll see here in a minute, I'm going to take it out after I had already wiped everything down, but it's fine. Um, so I'm going to wipe the inside of the lint trap and it was extremely dirty, just collected lint and dirt and dust. So I'm just going to be giving the dryer a good wipe down. After I wiped out the tray, I am just going to add all of my different laundry materials back onto my tray. And then I'm going to be just adding my Shark Ion battery charger right back there. It has little suction cups on the bottom of it. 
So I just suction cup, it, suction cup it to the dryer, and I'm just going to move on to the other side of the laundry room area, which is this little shelf where we store our shoes and everything. It was covered in lint, so I'm just gonna wipe that down good. So the main thing I wanted to do in this video was declutter, get rid of, and organize our pantry area and also our cabinets filled with all of our food, basically. So all of the cabinets that we store our food, dry goods, snacks, all those different things. So I'm starting out in our little snack cabinet, we like to call it, which is these um, line of cabinets across from like my sink and everything on the other side of the room where we store our cabinets, where we store our cabinets, oh my God, <laughs> where we store our snacks. So I'm just going to start by going through all of them, seeing what's expired, seeing what we, you know, just don't, didn't eat, which most likely is expired because we be eating. Um, but I'm just going to go through everything and then organize it, see if I can get it to function a little better because this was not working for us. So this is what we got going on over here. I got a whole trash bag full of snacks. That's also trash in that bin. But this is what I'm working with. A lot of oatmeal. <laughs> We have two containers. I don't need oatmeal. This is Miguel's. He bought one from Sam's Club. I don't know how long they've been in the containers, but obviously they haven't been ate. I really love to just get rid of it because I don't know if it's expired or not. But I'm just going to keep it. So yeah, this is what we're working with. So let's put everything back and maybe it will look a lot better. Um, Miguel snacks like in this one um, we actually don't have a lot of groceries right now for that reason I wanted to clean some stuff out and see what we had and then go to Sam's Club we'll definitely finish this whole bin of snacks first but um, I don't have any in here as of right now but this is like Miguel's area we got all this oatmeal I've actually got croutons right there those are mine in here I've just got some bars that we still have kind of like those for breakfast or a snack these are like um, some gummies and candy we have. Um, I just put all of our chip bag clips right there because we don't have any. In here, I've just got some more snacks. We got animal crackers, some Cheez-Its, these Toy Story cookies. Um, you know, easy to put in Connor's lunch. In here, we've got the Jumbo Fruit Loops, some of the little muffins, and that's really it. Um, I got rid of a lot, as you can see, which was stuff that was expired, had been opened, stale, um, junk food that I'm really trying not to eat, stuff like that. Um, yeah, so we got rid of this trash bag of stuff in there and also that bin up there that's full of trash. I'm going to keep the bin, but as of right now, this is what it's looking like. So yeah, it looks a lot better and I hope this works a little better for us to keep up with. All right, so I've got my setup here. I've got my tablet. I'm gonna watch some Game of Thrones for the umpteenth time. But yes, this is kind of embarrassing. So I'm gonna open these cabinets. This is where we keep our food. My seasonings are up there and like plates are over here. Um, I went through this cup cabinet not too long ago. I might do that today, but I honestly don't know. These three cabinets are the main cabinets where we keep our food, like, you know, our dry, goods um pasta rice everything of that sort so i'm gonna open these cabinets and you're gonna see what i'm talking about
All right, so I couldn't really film me doing the top part because for one, I had to get a chair. I can't reach it. So I'm just gonna show you what the outcome is. Now, um, it's not aesthetically pleasing, of course, which that's not what I was going for. I was going for it being functioning and somewhat organized. I have our pastas, macaroni, like different stuff. I've got at least four or five types of vinegars, which I didn't even know I had. Um, but that's more like vinegars <laughs> and then like syrups and stuff, peanut butter. And then I've got our pastas and like side dishes and rice. We eat a, like a lot of rice. So I have a whole container that I refill. So that's in that cabinet. And then in this cabinet, I have all of our canned goods, which is we eat a lot of black beans and green beans and things like that. And then I've got my soups and stuff that I carry to work. Behind that, I've got like tea to make my sweet tea. And then, I'm sorry, I can't do this at the same time. Over here, I've got a little baking box right there in that pink box. That's all my baking stuff. And then I've got like mashed potatoes and muffin mix and rice um, and um, more canned goods. But yeah, that's what this looks like. You can see it this way. It looks a lot better than it did. But yeah, this is what it's looking like. And I still have a lot more room. Like those soups are at the very front. There's really nothing behind it. But I'm gonna definitely try to use all of this before I get more like canned goods and rice and stuff like that. But I definitely wanted to just see what I had before school started and planning out meals for the week. So I've got all of that. And then I've got a whole trash bag full of expired foods. So I think I'm going to hit this cabinet next, which is on um, my spice cabinet. It's hard for me because it's hard to reach. So let's see if I can get that on film. Alright, so I just honestly organized the spice cabinet. A whole thing of green food coloring spilled. Um, so I'm gonna have to get a magic eraser to try to get that off. But it looks a lot better. It's just more organized. I have a lot of spices, so I just put honestly the ones I use the most in the front. Um, I, yeah, I really season my stuff. But I have a lot of sasson too. I have like two hundred packets anyway um so i honestly just put the things i use the most in the front here on this little spice rack um and i threw away some that were empty for some reason they were in there nothing was expired because i go through spices like fast and i have four containers of adobo so yeah that's the spice cabinet it looks a lot better and i can reach the ones in the front because I have I was on a chair the whole time I was doing that I can't reach up there but yeah it looks a lot better so at the end of all of the organizing and decluttering of the cabinets I did want to scrub my sink good I tried to find my power paste that I usually use for my sink. I don't know where I've put it or misplaced it, but I couldn't find it. So I just used some Clorox of the, the Clorox gel spray that I have and some Dawn dish soap and just gave it a good scrub and then wiped it down. But I just wanted to make sure I scrubbed that out too, just to keep it fresh. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't
sound like fun You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better If I want Let yourself be free And maybe you will find That there is more to life Than being pretty Honey, let's just face it if you have made it this far into the video, I just want to say a big thank you to all of my friends on YouTube who continuously comment and let me know that they love the videos and connect with me here on YouTube. I am so appreciative of every single one of you guys. Y'all truly don't know, but I really hope to see you guys next week in my next video. And I know this was a shorter video than usual, but I just wanted to still share something with you guys. I'm really trying to keep up with a consistent uploading schedule, and I really hope you guys notice that. But either way, I hope to see y'all next week, and I hope y'all have a good rest of your week. Bye.